Hello my friends and welcome back to another reading vlog. It is currently Saturday morning. I already woke up, had my breakfast, took a shower, my hair is still kind of wet and all I want to do this weekend is read. I want to read my books, I want to work on my physical TBR so we're going to spend this weekend together. We're gonna read, we're gonna talk about books and everything bookish. This is the book that I'm currently reading. I actually started it yesterday. It is a book called How High We Go in the Dark and I am already more than halfway through the book, halfway through the book, a little bit over halfway through the book. I am currently at page 170. I haven't read at all today, so we will start reading together. But so far, I am very much enjoying this book, but it is a very heavy and sad book. I want to finish it first to give you my final thoughts, but I thought that this book would be a bit more hopeful, may I say, but so far, I don't see any hope or any light in the tunnel in the dark, but I will continue reading it and we will see how this will go. So far, I am enjoying it, but it did put me in a sadder, lower mood. Also, let me know which book you are currently reading. Let me know down in the comments. But before we start reading, I need to make myself a fun little beverage. And I was thinking, should I make a coffee or should I make a tea? I think that a green tea is what I feel like drinking at the moment. So I will make myself a warm cup of green tea because I didn't have one this morning. You go ahead and make yourself a tea, a coffee, whatever you would like to drink as well. And let's sit down with our books and with our cute mugs and have a fun, cozy, bookish Saturday. Okay, before we start reading, I have something to show you, something very fun and maybe a little bit random, but look what I brought from my family's house the other day. By the way, these are very heavy, but this is the Vampire Academy book series. I was obsessed with Vampire Academy when I was a teenager. This is book number one. Has anybody else read Vampire Academy? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know if we have any other Vampire Academy fans in this channel. But the last time that I read the series, I was a teenager. I haven't reread the series ever, but I was so obsessed with these books books and I was so obsessed with Rose and Dimitri, the main couple, and the friendship between Lisa and Rose. And I think that at some point I would like to reread these. So I brought them home because I want to keep them. I will keep these forever. These are all in Greek. But yeah, the quality of these books is fantastic. They are very thick and heavy. I do not remember their correct order. I only know that this is the first book, this is the last book, and all the rest I have no clue. Oh no, this is the last book. Book. But I don't really like the covers because they have, you know, faces on them. They have random women and this one also has like a guy on the back. But it doesn't matter. I will keep these as my trophy when I finally get a bookshelf and I can just display them there so I can always remember where I started. And I was so pumped when the movie didn't perform well because they had filmed a movie for Vampire Academy, but apparently it didn't perform well and they never filmed another one. And I think that they also filmed a series at some point with other actors, but I never watched that. So yeah. That was my random little Vampire Academy rant. I was obsessed with this and if you were too, let me know so we can just, you know, remember our teenage years and fun girl together. Okay, time to read. I can't see 
Okay, we're pausing reading for a moment because I just received my grocery store order. I like ordering my groceries online. I just don't like going to the grocery store. Also, my partner works on the weekends. He has the car. It's just a whole thing. I'm not gonna take the bus and carry 10 bags. I don't know if they are 10 bags, but they are a lot. I mean, look at that. I went up and down three times to carry all this. I mean, I could have told the gentleman who brought the order to help me, but I don't know. I just feel bad for them because they are working, driving in the heat, carrying bags, and I don't want to make him climb up the stairs. I also took off my cardigan because I don't know what I was thinking, trying to cosplay full with a cardigan. Not even the AC was helping, so I just took it off. So I will arrange all this stuff. I will put everything back into its place and I will make a little snack, my go-to snack an orange juice, some almonds, and a little bit of dark chocolate. I love having that. And we'll continue reading. Also, this book is giving me major Clara and the Sun vibes, but even darker and heavier. If you have read Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro, I don't know, that book made me a little bit creeped out at some points. And this book slightly does that as well, but it's even darker and sadder, I feel like. Every summer, every winter, or every season, I'll be missing friends and happy sunday i just got ready because i will go on a day date with my boyfriend we do prefer going out during the day it's just more fun we will grab a coffee and then we will go to the movies we will see deadpool and wolverine i think that's how this movie is called we have seen all the other deadpool movies together as well throughout the years but reading update i'm still reading how high we go in the dark i only have a few more pages left i did read a little bit more yesterday and this morning so once i'm back from the movies i will do some chores and i will sit down to finish this book because we gotta start another book today so that is the plan let's go have a fun day out and we will come back to continue reading
difference it is much much later we had a lovely day out it was so much fun but i didn't really think this through i should have not made plans this weekend because i did go out yesterday with my sister today with my partner and i feel like i spent so many hours outside of the house and i feel like i haven't read as much as i would have liked to because i'm also filming this reading vlog and let's be real you are here to see me read and talk about books and not see me go out right but i finished how high we go in the dark and i'm a bit confused first of all i don't know what i'm going to rate this book i need to sleep on it think about it and the ending had me a little bit confused i feel like i need to reread this book at some point to understand it better this was a collection of stories of people going through different stages of this virus of this plague but i feel like a lot of characters were mentioned in one chapter and then they were mentioned again in another chapter maybe in one chapter they were just mentioned and then in the other they were the main characters of the chapter also i thought that it was going to be more hopeful and that we would see some light in the dark but i feel like this was heavy and this was very sad and very dark but maybe the confusing ending was an explanation something that was supposed to give us hope and i didn't get it i really do not know i feel like i really need to reread this i need to look up online some explanations because i feel a bit lost i did enjoy it i really did but i feel like with a reread i would get it better anyways let's put this aside because i feel like my mind is about to explode and let's see which book i'm going to read next i mean it's already quite late and i'm not going to do a lot of reading tonight but i don't want to disappoint you and show you only one book throughout the whole vlog so which book should i pick up to start tonight i know that i won't be able to read many chapters but at least i will start it i was thinking about my next read being divine rivals this is my august tbr by the way the books that i will be reading during august so i can choose among these so we have divine rivals tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow the nightingale and the starless sea i have been wanting to read divine rivals for a while now so i think that i will do divine rivals look at this beautiful cover i don't have ruthless vows yet but i think that i will need to order it really really soon because there are some books that i cannot find them easily on the greek market and i feel like ruthless vows is going to be one of these books but i think that i should start divine rivals i need to stop yapping sit down on the couch i have my cozy setup over there with my furry throw and my pillow and everything so let's sit down and start this book that i've been wanting to start for so long and i will also put on a playlist just to set the mood and the atmosphere mm -hmm. for a little update don't mind my background playlist music but i have reached page 30 and i have been pulled into the story directly immediately i am so interested and curious to find more about iris and about what is his name again and about roman so far they just don't like each other or they are pretending that they don't like each other and also i'm really worried about iris's brother he went to war what is going to happen to her brother and i am quite upset with iris's mother i just want to read in books about parents who are just good parents who take care of their children and who think of their children and of their emotional well-being 
excuse me i think i need to mute that yes i am quite uh, sick of reading about parents who just don't know how to be parents i mean parents are still humans and they go through emotions and through difficult things but i feel like almost every single book that i'm reading parents are just not good parents but that is my little update i have been really enjoying the book so far even though i'm still at the beginning but it's getting pretty late and i'm getting quite tired so i need to remove my makeup get ready for bed maybe i will read a little bit more and i will call it a night so i think that we need to say our goodbyes now and i will close off today's vlog here and i will start another very fun vlog tomorrow reading vlog again and we will continue reading this book in that vlog and we will hopefully finish that book during that vlog but i just feel like i need to vlog my experience with that book because so far it is really good the way that the author is describing the characters and their environment i am intrigued so would like to thank you all for watching this reading vlog this weekend reading vlog i promise that in my next reading vlog we will do more reading because let's be real this was not plenty of reading even for me but i still had a very fun weekend so i would like to thank you all for watching my reading vlog if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i will see you all in my next video bye friends mm -hmm.